Well, let's start out. Uh, I guess it's, it's is it Las Vegas' own Joanne Calderwood now. I feel like it's not even Scotland anymore. Like you're just taking over Las Vegas. It's your town now. <laughs> I can't say that on camera. Uh, I get disowned. No, uh, Scotland's always going to be my home, and uh, but Vegas right now is for business and work, and yeah, that's the main reason I'm going to be there full time. It does seem like professionally and personally. I mean, you're very happy right now in your environment i wonder you know is it the team at syndicate is it is it the performance institute i mean what is it that, that las vegas has settled for you that you say yeah this is going to be my professional home uh, vegas i feel like it's just got everything that i was looking for uh, i was looking to make a lot of changes for my career and just by it just by happens that Vegas is the place that I've managed to find all those changes and the weather as well. <laughs> I love the weather. I was going to say it's a complete different from what you grew up with, I guess. Is it, is it not difficult for you to adjust? No, I love it. Like, I feel like, like I've, I used to travel a lot, go to Thailand and stuff, and I, I feel it's better for my training that to be in the heat. <laughs> Nice. Can you put your finger on what it is that, that makes things better there? I mean, I know you feel comfortable and there's, there's so many, uh, you know, you have access to so many training partners, you have access to all this state-of-the-art equipment at the performance, but is there one thing that you can point to and say, this is what's really made me better? No, because all of, all of those things are making me be the athlete that I want to be, so I can't just name one thing apart from me, myself, <laughs> maybe me fi finally finding that place to be my place and uh, that would maybe uh, pinpoint it. But yeah, like the PI, they've got so many good professionals, they're helping me in every area and in the syndicate, great coach, great MMA team and it's just the glue that's putting all my, my MMA a training to, together. How much of it too is just the, the change in weight class? I mean, is that, I mean, do you think that's a big part of this as well or is that just a, a small part of it? Yeah, that that is also a big part of my changes and uh, the thing with that is that I'm more knowledgeable about my own body and actually cutting weight and my approach to to that subject so yeah it's definitely one of the the points as well i feel like you're part of this growing trend of fighters who's realizing that maybe cutting an extra 10 pounds to get to a weight class isn't really beneficial i mean what do you think it is that other fighters need to hear to realize like you're you're killing yourself to get to a weight class that doesn't do you any good for me the biggest part was going to the performance institute and them showing me the data the they were showing me what I'm burning calorie wise and what like overtraining and just everything like there's so many different elements to the to weight cutting so the biggest thing for me was making myself aware of all these things that I was doing to my body and I just I do want to be part of this game changing whereas weight cutting's out the window and yeah you still have to cut a little bit but we're not dying and our training's not suffering for the whole eight weeks ahead. No doubt. Let's talk about your last fight. Fantastic finish. Um, I wonder what you take out of that fight because incredible finish but you had some struggles early on to get to that finish right? So when you look back at that fight what do you take out of it? Is it positives? Are there negatives? What do you see? Looking back on my last fight, I definitely take a lot of positives from it. You know, I was in that fight and I was, I can remember myself going back, like getting taken down, like, fuck, here we go again. And I overcame that in the fight within 10 seconds. And then I was working off in my back and then pulled a submission out of my arse. So uh, I feel like for me, it was a confidence boost and my, just shows me that my mindset has changed and it's still changing. It's interesting because some people might say, hey, we think of you as a striker. What you showed was that your grappling skills are, are increasing, but really you feel not so much just that. It's, it's a mindset. It's a confidence thing. That was the biggest improvement that you made? Yeah. The biggest thing that holds people back from their true potential is the mindset. I feel like in the gym everything's going well and 
but I've had it in fights where I've had that mental block and it's sometimes made me make mistakes and uh, so that's the biggest thing I feel. Interesting. All right. Talk about the fight that you've got here, Arya Nuski, uh, a person that uh, some people might not be familiar with. Were you familiar with her at all before you got this fight and um, what did you learn about her once, once you started studying? I didn't know anything about her once I got the bout agreement. Obviously, I done my stalking straight on the internet, uh, and yeah, just watched all their fights on YouTube. Anything I could get a hold of, and uh, I was like, yeah, I'm excited for this. Not just because I'm fighting her, but for the fans, I definitely feel like the both of us are coming from a striking background, and the both of us do like to stand and bang. So it's it's going to be fireworks. I was going to ask, on paper it looks like it should be a war. I didn't know if the, if the JoJo 2.0 is a smarter fighter, a more cerebral fighter that doesn't engage in those things, or do you feel like, no, we're, we're going to go and get it? Yeah, but I'm, all, I'm known for like just going in there and giving it my all, and I feel like I have that, but I have the good balance of being disciplined because I don't want to go in there and throw it all away and get caught with silly punches or anything like that so I am that's the new changes I am trying to be more disciplined and get in there and not take as many hits maybe come away with not a bloody nose because most of my fights are bloody uh, but yeah do you think at all about rankings I mean this division is so interesting right I mean it's it's still I think it's finally just starting to settle a little bit but I still don't think we know where all the contenders line up so do you think at all about what this can do in a title picture or do you let yourself think of those things yeah, it's kind of, the division is kind of weird right now, it's still, I feel like it's going to straighten out in the next year or two, but I'm just excited to be p finally part of a division that I know I belong to, and I can't wait to see what the, sh the future is to hold, and yeah, obviously I'm looking to be top contender in this division because I know for sure and I believe and uh, I just believe this is my division. I know you're excited about your development. I mean, you're getting an early start on 2019, first car of the year. What are the goals this year? What, what, what do you think you want to accomplish this year? This year I want to stay uh, busy and keep improving and keep uh, passing all my tests at the PI and just get keep getting better and hopefully put myself in line for the title shot. And uh, I guess a, a big step could be on Saturday night. How do you how do you think this gets, gets done? Are you are you going out there with a performance of the night type fight where you're going to dominate, or is this going to be one of those fight of the night type fights where you go back and forth and uh, bring the fans to their feet? So uh, I do prefer looking and visualizing a fight fight of the night because I feel like it's always entertaining for the fans, and I feel like I don't want to go in there and dominate and like make question anyone's uh, mind of me just going in there and taking someone out I want to show that this girl is going to be good and she's going to bring it in I feel like less to prove that Lipsky is a top contender and her potential is up there and she's not just another bum